While most teens are enjoying their summer vacation, there is one group of high schoolers giving new meaning to fun in the sun. The key word there is a sun. And who else is more sunny than our Brittany Rainey? She joins us live from Texas Motor Speedway, where the 2023 Solar Car Challenge, you know, this is the starting point. Brittany, start your <laughs> engines, and it looks like you're inside of a car. I am. I am really, really excited about this. We have Jude Sawyer here, and he has turned the car on, right? Yes, the car is on. And you can't hear it. So we're going to go for a ride, and we're going to talk to Jude as we go for a ride around this parking lot here. So. We mentioned that there are no solar panels on this car. Tell us a little bit about why that is and how this car is working. Yes, so in this division, it's an electric solar powered car. So it's more of like an electric vehicle instead of one of these experimental cars with panels on top. Ah, uh, that is so cool. So that means that you're switching out batteries and where are your solar panels located? So we have a separate charge station on the trailer. We used to move our car from place to place and that is where our extra battery is so we can do pit stops and pull up beside that trailer. And you guys are, when they travel, they're going from DFW and then they're going over to Palmdale, California, and they have kind of a caravan. They have cars around them. They have the trailer traveling with them. That's how he's able to switch out his batteries. And this is a new creation. This is the first yes. year for you guys, the Blazing Bulldogs from Arkansas with this car. Tell us. So last year we tried to compete, but it was in a different division. So this year we had to rebuild our car. So we built from scratch from September and here we are rolling in the car. It is so fun. And you guys had to have some safety features like the roll cage here. And then you were telling us that with scrutineering, you've passed some of your yes. little safety checks. So yes, we passed braking, slalom, tilt and turn, just all the things to make sure that this car is road ready. And now we're stuck on some small things like making sure our bolts have enough threads sticking out. Oh, see, and those are things that you wouldn't think of, but these high school students, they think of that. And you were also telling us that you have an alert here that you're going to have to fix, and it's really cool how they're doing it. So our auxiliary battery alarm has to be audible. So what we're doing is we're trying to take apart a fire alarm that you can get from Home Depot and then wire that into our battery monitor. And this is really cool. This is the ingenuity that goes into building these cars. And the students are the ones designing them, building them, putting them together. How confident are you feeling about making it on the road? Our team is feeling great, ready to race. <laughs> I bet you just can't wait to get out there. It's Sunday you guys leave or Monday? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. So they're going to be on a week-long journey on the road. And you notice we have, I don't know if you guys can see it, we have this little sunshade here. We have our cool hats. I mean, you got to have a cool hat where you're going to be spending all day in the sun. Any last words for your, your team to motivate them? No, I don't. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, Brittany, we did see that uh, guy waving the red flag. Yeah. That means you need to stop it right oh, there. That is, that is definitely you <laughs> Oh, we're ignoring those flags. We're going for it. Oh, oh, no. oh there it goes. Oh, head. there it goes. <laughs> well, yeah, we're not in the Windy City. Put the pedal city. to the metal. Yep, the, but yeah, we're still in Texas, but it looked like the Windy City right there. Hey, that breeze looks like it feels good. Yeah, it does.